Transitions in our writing. Let's make it smooth. We want our writing to flow naturally. We want our readers to feel that we know where our story is headed and that we're in control. This means they can just sit back and enjoy the ride. When reading a book, think about this. You don't want to know what's happening. You don't want the same thing said over and over again. Watching a movie, you don't want to know what's happening. You want to just be able to sit back, watch, and relax. That's what good transitions do in your writing. We don't want our readers to feel that we are going every single place. As well, we don't want our readers to feel that they are reading a list of ideas written by a robot. We've all seen that before. That's not necessarily enjoyable to listen to. We do, however, want to communicate with our readers in a way that sounds natural. We do this by using transitions and sequencing to move our reader from one idea to another. We also have signal words to demonstrate to our reader how all of our ideas connect together. And there's different strategies in which you can connect transitions. Some signal words would look like this word list here. Now this word list has different uh, ways in order for you to compare and contrast ideas to transition from one sentence to another or transition from one paragraph to another. So moving back so with that word list which you have available to you in your Google account there's some three ways to think about using transitions. Building bridges between ideas and events, connecting ideas and events, and showing the order of ideas and events, which is also known as a procedure piece. Now there's two different ways to transition. You can transition from sentence to sentence, or more commonly, paragraph to paragraph. So we use transitions and sequencing to move from sentence to sentence and to move from paragraph to paragraph. We use these as an artistic tool so our writing sounds smooth and not so robotic. But not every sentence must transition to another. In fact, you wouldn't want to do this. We want to, as you could say, sprinkle some of these in here and there. And that way we have creativity and it's not the same thing over and over again. So sentences is not something you always transition, but paragraphs is another way in which you will transition more commonly. Better though, it is great to show artistic creativity when transitioning from paragraph to paragraph. If the ways you use transitions are always the same, people see the pattern and it becomes very predictable. And that predictability is not creative. And again, I, I say we've seen this before where we might say, then I went to the store. Then this happens. Then, then. So it's constant. I've seen it before, you've seen it as well. So those thens are that predictability. You know what the writer's going to say. And oftentimes, it's hard for your writer to keep involved and interested in your writing. Now, here are some transitions that we'll want to signal your reader about. There's five in which are most commonly seen in your writing. So this number one signal that you were transitioning is that you're adding new information and continuing in the same direction. So I might be talking about grandpa, I have a transition but then I continue to talk about grandpa. Number two, that you're changing directions or you're going to compare and contrast events ideas. So you talk about one thing and then you want to talk about something new or go against what you had said previously. So there is a transition that is a different set of words. Number three is that you're going to show cause and effect. If I do this, this is what will happen. Number four, that the order sequence of time of events, the knight stormed the castle, then the knight rescued the princess, finally the knight and the princess lived happily ever after. That's ordering sequence of time. And number five is that you're going to emphasize, repeat, or give examples of events.
Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is an example of transitions. Because oftentimes we need to see exactly what are transitions.